Hello, everyone. Hope you are doing very well in your study. Today, chemistry lesson is about polymers. Before I proceed further, please subscribe to Jom Study Lab channel because in this channel, we provide many free lectures. Without further ado, let's look into our study outline. Our study outline comprises, comprises of polymer and addition polymerization, deducing the structure of additional polymer, deducing the monomer from the addition polymer, condensation polymerization, polyester polyamides, uses of polymers, and finally pollution by plastic. Let's look into the title of polymer. Polymers are large molecules built up by linking at least 50 small molecules called monomers. Monomers is a small reactive molecule that react and join together with itself and another molecule to form the repeating units of a polymer. And polymerization is the chemical reaction where monomer react to form polymer. From this diagram is actually represent polymerization of 18 monomers to make the polymer polyethylene. So you can see this is double bond plus double bond plus double bond and to form the polyethylene polymer. So in between there is a continuation of bond. The repeat units in polymer are connected by covalent bond. And the continuation of the polymer chain is shown by continuation bond. And there are two types of polymerization. One is called as a addition polymerization. And the other one is called condensation polymerization. Addition polymerization is actually the monomer have double bond, you can see C equal to C is a double bond, and no other compounds is formed. And condensation, polymerization, the monomers are linked to, the, to form the polymer, and a small molecule is eliminated. And let's look into the addition polymerization. Polymerization, as already we learned, is a chemical reaction where monomer react to form polymer. And addition polymerization is a reaction in which monomer contains double bond, react to form polymer, without any other substance being formed. And in addition, polymerization is actually one of the bond in the C double bond or carbon of each alkane monomer break and form a bond with an adjacent monomer. The polymers form a single bond and many polymers are synthesized from alkane monomers. And other polymers are based on alkene, where one or more hydrogen atoms are substituted by groups such as Cl or OH. And the name of polymer is formed by putting the name of monomer in brackets and adding poly as a prefix. Example, propane monomer to form polypropane. 
let's look into the reducing the structure of an addition polymer. When the monomer contain alkyl group of other functional groups such as Cl or OH, represent the equation in a relatively simple way as diagram on the right side. So the diagram on the right side is actually, it represents the polymerization of propane monomer CH3 CH equals to CH2 to form polypropane. Let's look into to draw how to draw the polymers. First, we have to draw the monomer so that side change are arranged vertically and change double bond to single bond. And write down number of formula units required by the question and draw single bond between the repeat units. Put continuation bond at the both end of the change. as shown in this diagram. And at the end, this it shows the continuations bond. So, draw structure of monomer and change double bond to single bond. Put continuation bond at both ends of the repeat unit. Put square brackets to continuation bond and put an end at the bottom right to show large number of repeat unit. This is the way how to draw structure of monomer. And in this case, the structure monomer is try to draw polymer polychloroethylene. So tips when drawing an addition polymer, do not forget the double bond changes to single bond and secondly, continuation bond. These are the tips you have to remember when you want to draw addition polymer. Let's look into reducing monomer from addition polymer. So the procedure is as follow. You have to identify the repeat unit in polymer. Second, to remove the continuation bond. And finally, make the single bond into a double bond as shown in this chemical reaction. Condensation polymerization. In condensation polymerization, monomer molecules are linked together and small molecule such as water or hydrogen chloride is eliminated. And condensation polymerization is a reaction where two organic molecules join together in a condensation reaction to form repeating unit of polymer. Condensation reaction is a reaction where two organic molecules join together with the elimination of small molecules such as water. Example of condensation reaction are as below where an amide linkage is formed by reaction of carboxylic acid with chemical called amine. So condensation polymerization may involve two different monomer. Each monomer has at least two functional group. So you can see H, OOC, and then carboxylic acid. Same thing like a diamine. H2M, Bob represents the rest of molecule and NH2. This is how the condensation 
polymerization take place. Polymids. Polymid is a polymer whose monomers are bonded to each other by any link, which is C O N H. So, example of polymid is nylon. The monomer for polymids are decarboxylic acid and diamines. Each COOH group react with NH2 group to form an amide linkage and molecule of water is eliminated. You can see from this equation where you have the decarboxylic acid an example of diamines. And during this um, polymerization, so it will build up this um, when COOH group react with NH2. So these are the, the chemical reaction will perform molecule which is molecule of water and water will be eliminated in this process. And then let's look into the polyester. Polyester is a polymer whose monomer are bonded to each other by the acetylene COO. So example given for polyester is terylene. The monomer for polyester are decarboxylic acid and DOs. DOs have two alcohol function, functional group. When this molecule react, each COOH group will react with an OH group to form an ester linkage and molecule of water is eliminated. So below is actually the equation during the polymerization of terylene. And uses of polymers where you have polyethylene is example given is a plastic bottle, plastic bag, clean film wrap, polypropane, let's create for bottle or ropes, polychloroethane, so the use of polymer is in water pipe, gutter, electrical cable insulation. For polytetrachloroethylene, you can see uses of polymer in a non-stick pen. And for the nylon, you can see the use of polymer in the fishing line, clothing carpet, and ropes. And also, you can see the use of polymer in terylene, like bed sheet clothing, and towel. Let's look into pollution that caused by plastic. Some plastic are biodegradable. They can be broken down in the environment by bacteria and fungi. Other are non-biodegradable, which means that when non-biodegradable, degradable, they cannot be broken down in this way. For non-biodegradable, is unable to be broken down in the environment by microorganism or other living things. Let's look into what are the problems that causes by non-biodegradable plastic, such as first, it creates blocking drain causing flooding. Small pieces were getting trapped in the airway or gullet of animals, especially seabird and fish. And when this happens, it leads to death of this animal. Birth and fish getting trapped in this discarded plastic netting. This can cause injury and eventually can cause death. And when plastic burn, they may produce toxic gases. And this will contribute acid rain and etc. Like carbon dioxide, contribute to global warming, 
poison called dioxin may be produced on burning and toxic additive to plastic may leach out of plastic gum on the soil or in water and can cause poison to the organism in this environment. And that looks into the pollution by plastic, biodegradable plastic, which can also harmful to the environment. So let's look what are they. Toxic additive leak out and have the same harmful effect as non-biodegradable plastic. And also, they may break down into microscopic particles which can harmful to the aquatic life. With that being said, I hope that you all understand the topic presented earlier. Wish you all the best in your study. Last but not least, please subscribe to Jom Study Live YouTube channel and follow me at Jom Study Live Instagram. You can get customized notes by accessing to Beacon page via Instagram link. Thank you very much.